Welcome to the world of Simons Boss Digital Locking Systems. Today I'll be showing you the door monitoring cylinder, the first cylinder with fully integrated wireless door monitoring. What does a door monitoring system do? As part of your digital locking system, it provides you with a status overview of your doors whenever you require. Are doors open, closed, or locked? You will also receive a message if a door is open for too long. A standard digital locking cylinder always allows you to see who is authorized to use a door at particular times. However, it's useful for you to know all statuses for certain doors. These may be outside doors, fire doors, or doors to a server room, or even a medical cabinet. Imagine a building with several entrances. Before going home in the evening, you first need to check whether the doors are locked or not. A door monitoring cylinder allows you to quickly see on your door locking plan whether doors are open or locked. Fire doors must be closed at all times. This is the only way that they can prevent a fire from spreading. You can adjust the door monitoring cylinder to set how long a door may remain open before a warning message is sent. At first glance, the cylinder looks just like any other. But if we look at the fastening screw more closely, we can see the sensor inside which forwards the signal to the cylinder. The signal is then emitted to the software via the cylinder and the network interface card. I can then see the status of my door change on my locking plan. Other sensors built into the cylinder detect whether a door is open or closed. The cylinder is fitted in the same way as a standard cylinder. The only difference is that you use the special key to tighten the sensor fastening screw instead of a cross-tip screwdriver. A magnet is also affixed to the door frame at the height of the fastening screw. If the door is opened, I receive a message on the locking plan. The screw's magnetic field changes and the change in status is forwarded. If I close and lock the door, the information is immediately displayed in the locking plan. I now determine how the cylinder is to behave in the configuration menu. First, I turn the polling interval down to one second, because people can open the door to a medical cabinet very quickly. Then I consider whether I want to receive a message if the door is open too long. This function may be useful in this case to ensure that I receive a message if somebody leaves the door open. The number of turns in the lock indicates how many times I must turn the cylinder knob to extend the deadbolt completely. In the case of an outside door with multi-point locking, I may need to turn the lock two, three, or four times before the dead bolt is fully extended. Next, I consider what information I would like to see in my access list. You should obviously log more information for important doors than for less important ones. Finally, I decide whether I would like to receive the status immediately via the network or if I only want access to be logged. The door monitoring cylinder is then set up ready for use. It took minimum effort to monitor your door to maximum effect.